Verify that the circuit breaker has a hole in the switch tongue. Place the circuit breaker in the off position. Place the lockout device over the circuit breaker using the smallest rectangular cavity that will fit the switch tongue. Squeeze the lockout closed while making sure that the insertion pin is fully engaged in the hole in the switch tongue. Insert the padlock through the hole in the lockout device and attach the worker's tag. Lockout cleats are used with lockouts for circuit breakers with long, sliding switch throws. To start, snap the locking cleat to the base of the circuit breaker lockout device. With the circuit breaker in the off position, install the cleat and lockout device with the cleat in the recessed area of the circuit breaker. Rotate the front wheel clockwise to secure the lockout device to the switch tongue. Attach the padlock with worker's tag. Pull out the desired length of cable and run the cable through the associated devices to be locked out. Place the looped end into the slot of the mini cable lockout device. Compress the self-winding push button to draw access cable back into the mini cable lockout. Now rotate the top of the lockout clockwise to the fully locked position. Insert the padlock in one of the holes to secure the locked position. Put the circuit breaker in the off position and place the lockout device over the circuit breaker switch tongue. Rotate the thumb wheel clockwise to secure the lockout device. Attach the padlock and worker's protective tag. This device is available in three sizes to accommodate a variety of circuit breakers. Place circuit breaker in the off position. Place the multipole lockout device on the circuit breaker tie bar assembly. Rotate the thumb wheel clockwise to secure the lockout device to the circuit breaker. Attach the padlock and worker's protective tag. Place the base of the lockout over the ball valve handle. Then, slide the mating attachment over the end. Make sure the handle is captured in the cavity of the mating attachment. Finally, insert the lock through the hole that provides the tightest fit. To install the wall switch lockout, first remove the wall plate screws. Then, reattach the wall plate along with the lockout device to the switch. Place the switch in the desired position and close the lockout device. Insert the padlock with worker's tag. To install the safety padlock, first insert the padlock key and turn left to release the shackle. Reattach the safety padlock to device. Insert worker's tag and close shackle to secure. This device is available in a variety of colors, sizes, and materials. Place electrical panel in off position. Separate and slide hasp ends in opposite directions to open device. Clasp lockout device on panel switch. Push steel hasps together to secure lockout device. Insert the padlock with worker's tag. Safety hasps are essential for group lockout scenarios and can accommodate up to six workers padlocks for one device.